Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC again, and we've got a very special mystery package from the one, the only, Jared Neve of Knees Knives. I have no idea what it is. So we're going to find out right now. Jared messaged me a few days ago and said, uh, there's a package on the way. And I said, weird, but okay. Uh, I have no idea what it is. He didn't tell me. Um, it was shipped priority UPS or USPS. My apologies. It got here quicker than I thought it would. It's in a very large box and it rattles. So it could be Legos for all I know, I, you know, but we're going to find out. Unboxing knife. I'm using the tactile rock wall. Shut up. Uh, in Magna Cut with the thumb studs. I love this knife. All right, okay, I got you. My phone's blowing up, I do apologize. Also, new environment, if you're not used to it. Uh, this is just, uh, this is what's happening. So uh, if you're a channel member, you'll understand why at some point. Let's bust it open. We got a whole lot of paper, good for arts and crafts. And a knife! Just, um, just one. In a best hex sleeve. Nothing in there. Jared, what have you sent me, my friend? <laughs> Ooh, boy, we just gotta find out. You know I love me some best hex. A piece of paper! I don't want to look at the knife. I just want to read the piece of paper first. Keep, let's keep the surprise going for now. Oh my god, this is an, a novel. This is an actual novel. Warn Attack Folding Knife designed by at custom underscore EDC underscore knives. <gasps> I know what this is. I know what this is. First off, follow custom underscore EDC uh, underscore knives. I don't know how you got that name. Stop, focus. I don't know how you got that name, you lucky dog. It seems very general. It seems like that would have been long gone. But this is a prototype uh, from a new designer, relatively new designer. Um, I just told you his Instagram handle, so go follow him. Here it is. Here's his real name because I can't remember what it is off the top of my head right this second. It's been a weird day. Uh, full titanium. I'm assuming it being in a Best Tech sleeve, this prototype was done by Best Tech. Really nice. Full tie build, stonewash titanium. Milled titanium clip, single screw that is countersunk, very nice. Looks like all T8 hardware. Nice jimping on the blade spine there. Some standoffs. Simple design, but very interesting, very different from most anything that's available right now. He did reach out to me a while ago, I totally forgot about this, and I saw a picture of this knife. And he asked me if I wanted to check it out. And I said, yes. Yes, please and thank you. I believe there's going to be an updated version. Oh, yes. Uh, that'll be a prototype of kind of one with some changes. He took Neves', ad Neves advice after Neves did a review on this. Look at the blade. You know why I had to see this one. It's, look at that blade. Oh, man, that is aggressive. That is like straight out of a sci-fi movie. I am a huge fan of that. Nice satin finish, hollow grind on there. I'm not sure what the blade steel is. M390, of course. Why wouldn't it be? A very a symmetrical design. This kind of swoop starts at the tip, goes all the way across the uh, back of the handles. Simple, clean, but crazy looking at the same time. Frame lock, let's check the action on it. Man, that detent's really well dialed. The blade is insanely light because of that giant deployment slot. Like, all of the weight is just gone. So much has been milled out of this M390 blade. Makes a great noise, dude. Ooh. Really smooth running on bearings. Clean as a whistle. This was coming from Jared, so I expect nothing but the best from that man. 
Oh, yeah. Ergos Chebec. Feels great, man. That feels great in the hand. A little bit of jimping back here. Choke back feels nice. Choked up. Nice choil. Needs. I is okay. There has that has to be a change. Um, changes I'm looking at making. Possibly contouring the pocket clip for more comfort, making the choil smaller. So right off the bat, my only complaint is the choil is not big enough. I want to see this area right here milled out to give me a full choil. So that way the blade length stays the same, but I have a full usable choil. Because as it is, this is a prototype, a very early one. But as it is, there's just not enough in there. It's a little scary to choke up. That, that being said, once you duke it in there, that feels fine. So it would be great to have a nice usable finger choil on this one. So that would be, honestly, my big thing is... Uh, mill out this area behind the choil so we can actually use it. He mentions the detent not being very strong. The detent feels great to me. Like, I, dude, I have no issues with that flicking action. Reverse flick, thumb flicks are great. Really smooth action. Makes insane noises. I can't get over the sounds this thing makes. The warm tack. Damn, I need to find something to cut real quick. That is insane. Feels nice. Feels good. I have some junk mail right here. Don't worry. I came prepared. We may not be... Oh my gosh, that's nuts. Oh, the newspaper. Well, thank you, dear. And my beautiful assistant has, has came in. Has came in? Has... <laughs> has walked in with the sports section of the local paper, and we're going to destroy it. Shall we? I think we shall. Oh my. Yes, that's lovely. This is a lot. This is like six pieces of newspaper all stacked up. And it is handling it very, very well. Wow. I was told semi-recently the best tech couldn't do a good hollow grind. Um, I don't know about that, dude. This is pretty impressive. Pretty damn impressive. Uh-oh. There, I just want the one piece. Oh, yeah. Nice and slicey. Say what you will about Chinese knives and about Best Tech in general. Dude, they do some absolutely incredible work. I am very impressed with this. Oh, whoop. It's almost, it almost feels over-polished, but it's a very clean edge. Nice and thin behind the edge. Good and slicey. I'm a big fan, man. I'm, I'm kind of pumped that this, this is what this ended up being. Um, looking to be a between, from the paperwork I have here, between 300 and 325, which for a full titanium build like this, M390 hollow grind, sure. I'm all, I'm totally fine with that. Um, especially with a couple little changes, but just as is, man. I just love the noise and that blade shape, you know, that speaks to me in so many ways. The custom EDC knives worn tack. At the moment, this prototype OEM'd by Best Tech. Changes inbound, but I just had to check this one out as soon as I could. Couldn't say no to that blade. So that's it for me. This is just the unboxing and first impressions. Uh, there will be a full review at some point in the near future. I'm not sure when. Eventually, you know, at least sometime, eventually. I'm sure Jared Neves already has some videos on this, so if you want a full review, go check his out, and then uh, stay tuned for mine. But uh, the Warntack prototype in the house. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. That's it for me from uh, the Tri-State Studios. So until next time, thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye now.